How's it going guys, it's Kawi the How You Guy 123 here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to chroma key in OBS without a green screen. We're also going to be doing this without the video broadcast as uh, graphics cards are obviously very difficult to get these days. So basically how this works is we're going to create a zoom meeting and use Zoom's virtual background removal tool to change our background to a solid green color. We're then going to Windows capture our zoom meeting uh, in OBS and use the chroma key filter to change out our background. So let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. So to begin, we're going to need to download and install Zoom if you don't have it installed already. If you don't know what Zoom is, it's basically a meeting slash video chatting uh, software that a lot of people have been using in the last year to do like school and work. Uh, so if you don't have Zoom downloaded and installed already, I'll leave a link for it in the description below. Once you're on this page, just come down here to where it says Zoom client for meetings and then click on the download button here. Uh, I'm not going to go through the installation process in this video. It's very straightforward. Just follow the installer. And then at the end of the installation process, it's going to ask you to create an account, create an account, and then Zoom should open automatically. And uh, once Zoom is open, it's going to look something like this. So once Zoom is open, we're actually just going to want to minimize it just for a minute. And we're going to want to open Paint. Uh, or realistically, you can use any uh, image editing software. Uh, we need paint because we're going to just create a solid green color image. You could also get one off of Google Images, but I think this is just a little bit easier. So all you need to do in paint is click on resize here and then uh, resize by, choose pixels. And uh, you're going to want to choose a resolution like 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720. So I'm going to use 1280 by 720 in this tutorial. So I'm going to click on OK. So we're going to want to choose the paint bucket tool here and then choose green and just fill the entire screen with a solid green color. Once that's done, click on file, save as and click on PNG uh, picture and you can call it whatever you want. I'll just overwrite the uh, one I've created earlier and um, you can pretty much save it anywhere on your computer you'd like. But for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to leave it on my desktop. So click on save. And do I want to replace it? Click on yes. So we can close out of paint now and here is our uh, image we just created. So now we can go back into zoom, click on new meeting. So it opened up on my second monitor. So it's going to ask you if you want to join with computer audio. It doesn't really matter, but we can just uh, click join with computer audio. Uh, and you can see that I already have mine set up from earlier. Uh, but if your video isn't turned on, just click on uh, start video in the bottom left hand corner here. To choose which webcam is being used for your meeting, click on the up arrow here and choose your webcam. So in this case, mine was automatically selected to my webcam, which is the Microsoft Webcam HD 3000. So once your webcam is selected, we're going to want to click on choose a virtual background. And it should put you on the background and filters tab. So I'll just remove the one I've created before. Uh, if this is your first time uh, using Zoom, it's going to ask you to install some sort of uh, background removal plugin. I can't actually remember what it's called, but it's going to ask you to install that. It should only take a few minutes, so go ahead and do that. And uh, once that's done, click on the plus button here to add a new image for a background. And then navigate your computer to find the uh, green screen image we created in Paint uh, earlier. So you can see now that uh, our background has changed to a solid green background. So we can now close out of the settings. We can also close out of the background client in Zoom as well. We don't actually need that. So here's where there's a bit of a downside. So in order to window capture our Zoom meeting in OBS, we need to keep our Zoom meeting open at all times and maximized. So we're going to want to make sure it's maximized at all times so we, we can window capture it. Uh, for example, if you actually minimize it, uh, your meeting goes down in this like little preview window here. And uh, we unfortunately can't uh, window capture this so we need to make sure it's maximized um, so if let's say you're playing a game and you're streaming I'll use OBS as an example here but we can pretty much have a program in front of our zoom meeting here the zoom meeting is still maximized but we can have like a window in front of it and we should still be able to um, window capture our meeting uh, alternatively if you have a second monitor like I do you can just move your meeting to your second monitor and uh, it's still open but it's actually not in the way of your uh, of your recording. So I'm just going to leave it on my second monitor for now. So now that our meeting is set up and open in the background of our computer, we can head into OBS, make sure that you have a scene created and we're going to add a new source. So I'm going to click on the plus button here and I'm going to add a new window capture. I already have a zoom source created, so I'll just call this green screen for now. 
I'll click on OK. And uh, since I'm recording, it's probably going to be blocking your screen. So let me just hide that for a sec. The window we're going to want to capture is obviously our Zoom meeting. So make sure that's selected. Uh, and now you'll see that uh, the capture, the window capture for our Zoom meeting is kind of funky right now. It's all white and black. And to fix that, we're going to want to change the capture method from automatic to Windows Graphic Capture Windows 10 1903 and up. And you can see once I choose that, uh, it's window capturing our Zoom meeting perfectly fine. And you can see our green background uh, here. Uh, one thing I'd also recommend unchecking is capture cursor. Just in case we move our cursor over our Zoom meeting, we don't want that to be captured. Uh, once you've done that, click on OK. So now if I unhide our window capture, you can see it's now recording uh, our Zoom meeting onto our OBS uh, scene. So I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller now just so it's out of the way and you guys can see. Uh, so now let's go ahead and remove the green background. So to remove the green background, we're going to want to right click on our Zoom window capture, uh, click on filters. And once this filters window is open, you're going to want to uh, click on the plus button here to add a new filter. Click on chroma key. Uh, we can leave the name uh, chroma key for now. Click on OK. And then under color key type, make sure that's set to green. Now you can mess around with settings a little bit more if you want to tweak your settings to get the best possible uh, green screen removal. But uh, I'm actually going to come back and do that in a second. I'm going to click close for now. And I'm just going to readjust our uh, webcam here, our face cam here. So you'll see that our window capture is actually capturing these black bars from Zoom. And we can actually crop these out by holding Alt on your keyboard and uh, clicking on these squares here and just trimming and cropping those out of our uh, face cam. I'm also going to reposition my face cam to the bottom left hand corner of my screen. You can move it wherever you want. Uh, you can also uh, click on any of these squares without uh, pressing any buttons on your keyboard to make it uh, bigger or make it smaller. So that looks good. So now I'm going to uh, click on our, our window capture one more time and I'm actually just gonna go back and uh, tweak our settings a little bit better to get the best possible uh, background removal. So we just tweaked the settings a little bit. Uh, I messed with the contrast and brightness just to make my uh, face cam a little bit brighter. Uh, I'm, like I mentioned before, I'm using a Microsoft LifeCam 3000. It's like a 2012 webcam. It's uh, pretty old. It only records 720p and it doesn't really re react to light very well. Like I have three lights going right here and you can see my scene is still uh, pretty dark. So your results will probably vary depending on uh, which webcam you have and uh, how much lighting you have in your room. Uh, but uh, that looks pretty good. So if I move OBS out of the way uh, and if I make this a little bit bigger, you can see there's our final results. Honestly, it's not too bad considering how bootleg this process is. Uh, you can see it's missing a little back, a little bit of background removal where uh, the spaces between my headset is. Uh, but if I move around, you can see that the background removal is reacting pretty well. Uh, I don't know how good this is compared to NVIDIA's uh, RTX uh, broadcast as I haven't really used it too much. But I do think if you have uh, an RTX graphics card, you should maybe check that out as it might be a little bit easier. But overall, considering I have a GTX graphics card and it's very hard to get graphics cards these days, uh, this isn't too bad as well. And compared to actually getting a real green screen, I know they're not super expensive, but uh, they can be a hassle to put up and remove. And uh, I think this works pretty darn well. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If this video helped, leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to help you guys out. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.